Hey there, welcome to Case Closure for a fresh new perspective. Things you never thought about, things you never will, and things you wish you never did. I want to rant about a certain movie that I watched recently, Abigail. I was optimistic watching this, foolishly so. And I actually kind of loved this movie, but it just didn't wow me the way I was expecting it to break ground. Who's inside a cage right now? It's not a bad movie in and of itself, just the usual horror gimmick, a group of people doing something crazy and they all end up dead. In this case, it's a kidnap for ransom, which I have to say makes no sense the longer you think about it. The fact that they didn't know who the child was, her parents, or even why the hideout was a massive mansion. This place is pretty sweet. Shouldn't it be a shed in the woods? But yeah, they kidnap the girl, take her to an abandoned palace and the horror ensues. I think I'm tired of this kind of storytelling. Oftentimes, it's not such a bad thing. When you want to see idiots and jump scares, the horror genre has you covered, but there needs to be an advancement in the genre. The only major change this movie gave us was that the girl herself hired the people for reasons ranging from minor violations of trust to major theft against her father's company. There's also the twist that she is the bloodthirsty killer who leaves a trail of bodies on her wake. And while yes, that's fascinating, Damn. This man got his finger on the pulse of pop culture. It's still cliche. We've already seen this scary little girl many times. I like playing with my food. Another unexpected twist that I like was, of course, the rather fascinating ending where the bad guys switch sides. One of their own becomes the true hidden villain, and the girl changes into a sympathetic character in the end, one redeemed by another's willingness to help her. The spark of humanity, rare as it definitely must have been, even transforms her own father. It is a wonderful ending and a clever twist, if we ignore that they are definitely going to be doing some killing in the near future, seeing as it. It's getting awfully close to dinner time. I liked it. I just would have done without a lot of the middle parts. So when I sat down feeling giddy about to watch something unique, 30 minutes in and I was very really disappointed. The start of this movie, my goodness, was brilliant. It held my interest and I was thinking all sorts of things could happen. I'm scared. Cut the shit. You're really good at pretending to be a little girl. Thank you. But when the vampire twist was revealed, I withered in my chair like a flower in a hot desert, thinking in my head, we've been through this already a hundred times. And then it hit me. If they went with anything else other than vampires, let's say for example a robot, and yes, I know this has really been done before, and probably a lot better with the sleeper hit, me three gun. But even that is slowly being forgotten, proving that we need something revolutionary to uplift the genre. So say she's a robot, but not like the others. Her father works in a high-tech place and is one of the most powerful people in the city. He has a henchman that no one knows the identity of. They don't know how he enters into a place or even how he leaves. Therefore, instead of just a little girl with a vampirism, make it a killer bot. Have it be a little girl with the mind of his daughter but the body of an experimental machine. And to keep the tone of the movie dark, let it be a really horrible experiment where her limbs split and reform to fit the task at hand, like crawling through a space only her head could fit or breaking a window by taking out her leg and using it as a bat. But instead of all this mayhem, she does all her killings in total secrecy, while her mind is slowly going insane, something that the characters notice but ignore. No one sees her, no one suspects her, all they see are dead bodies piling up until the very last person. Only that one person gets to know the horrible secret right before they die. And in that moment of hysteria, this person sends a cryptic message to their boss saying, it's the girl. Only the message autocorrects to tip the girl. Okay, this won't make sense unless you consider that she's hoping on an early payment for the job and uses the word tip so the feds won't figure out she's part of an underground crime league. But yeah, with this kind of story where we don't devolve to people holding guns at each other to heighten the tension, it would be memorable. Think about this exact group of people finding body after body until the last two are left, but they still want the money. This will help us better understand their struggles. They all have backstories as to why they need the money. She's out for the fun of it. He's the muscle, so what else is he going to do? He's... I'm not sure, actually. And he's an ex-detective with a very, very dark history. And she's trying to quit drugs and get her kid back. Boom, character motivations that would allow them to not see the danger that is right before them. The last two therefore decide to take the girl to another location, sending cryptic messages to their boss about the decision. But then only one is left and she decides to abandon the mission. She frees the girl and begins walking away. But 
in that moment, in the darkness, she sees the girl transform horrifically while muttering nonsense about saving her father. The only thing left for her to do is to find her phone and send some kind of message about this horrible thing. And while she's looking up at the disfigured body of the girl walking closer, she sends the message just as the girl lunges. I would have loved that. It would have freaked me out, but I would have loved it. The news will report a kidnapping gone wrong, infecting within the group, and that the last two were killed by a wild animal. The girl was surely lucky to survive and has safely been reunited with her father, gaining him even more public support and even more underground fear. What an ending that would be. I would have been wide-eyed the whole whole time. And yes, I knew this was a vampire story going in. We kidnapped a fucking vampire. <laughs> a ballerina vampire. And maybe they could have just kept the vampire stuff, but still made it more about the stealth where everyone dies in the end. That is why I feel this was a wasted opportunity and it made me a little bit angry as you can tell. Tragic. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share and catch you on the next one. The horror genre is dying when it should be the one most free to experiment with new ideas and in Abigail they could have. It was a great premise ruined by the need to make a simple paint by the numbers horror that changes nothing of the past decade when it could have been special.